Goes in. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Whitney. And Skippy Longstocking is very fast out of there. National Treasure came away in good order, but Arthur's Ride is up and on the pace, taking second. National Treasure will have to track the pace, about two off them, racing right on the inside of First Mission. Then it's another length back to Charge It, who's three deep. Post time is right next to Warrior Johnny in mid-pack. It's another three lengths back to Bright Future, who races on the outside of Disarm and Croupy as the trailer. The opening quarter in a good 23 and one-fifth seconds. They straighten up for the run down the back stretch, and Arthur's ride asserts himself. Opens up almost two lengths on Skippy Longstocking in second. Then first mission and National Treasure. National Treasure now moving into third once again. Charge at his neck. Warrior Johnny trying to advance on the outside of post time, heading toward the half-mile pole. Then it's a big gap. Back to Disarm, Croupy, and Bright Future. Arthur's ride went the half in 46 and three. Jose Ortiz asking Skippy Longstocking to close after him in second. National Treasure still biding his time. Three and a half off the pace in third. Then first mission, followed by post time. Warrior Johnny, eight lengths off the pace. It's another five lengths to Disarm, who is racing about a length and a half in front of Krupe, starting to launch his bid. Bright Future far back, one ten and one for six furlongs. Top of the stretch for Arthur's ride, chased intently by Skippy Longstocking. And National Treasure still with plenty of work to do. Post time is next, and Krupe coming fast in the center of the racetrack. A sixteenth to go, and Arthur's ride still has a commanding lead. What a tremendous debut in stakes competition. The grade one Whitney to Arthur's ride. Krupe was second. Post time finished third, and Disarm was fourth. in the Phasic Tipton Lure. And it's a quick start for both Swift Sure and Film Star. Those two speed clear by three over Johnny's Fireball and Pioneering Spirit, two by two, going on to the backstretch. And it's Swift Sure leading the way. Has it now by just under a length. Film Star is comfortably placed outside of him. Backs off just a touch. And then it's another four lengths back to Johnny's Fireball. Five to Pioneering Spirit. The opening quarter went in 23 and 4 fifth seconds. Swiftsher takes him toward the half mile pole with Film Star right off his flank and under a nice hold, too. Another three back to Johnny's Fireball, who's four in front of Pioneering Spirit. Swiftsher, just a neck. Film Star starting to turn up the pressure now, though, and there he goes. Film Star has taken the lead through a half in 46 and four fifth seconds. Film Star in front. Swiftsure trying to stay close, but he's now a length behind. And Film Star has been asked for absolutely nothing. In the meantime, Pioneering Spirit has surfaced as they come through mid stretch. Film Star spurts clear by four. Pioneering Spirit has moved into second, and Swiftsure is third. A 16th to run, and Film Star was a winner every step of the way. Just coaxed along by Arad Ortiz Jr. to win it by three and a half lengths over Pioneering Spirit. Swiftsure checked in third. Number 10, Film Star was first in 1 minute 37.37 seconds. 7, Pioneering Spirit was second.
up. They're in the gate. And they're off in the test presented by Ticketmaster. And Ways and Means breaks beautifully in. We'll go right to the front. Emery comes through on the inside of my main squeeze. They're racing together second, but now Emery goes right through and challenges Ways and Means. These two go at it from the start. So it's Emery, the leader, Ways and Means, comfortable, just a half length back in second. My main squeeze, three off the pace in third, followed by Denim and Pearls in fourth, and Bell's Blue Bell is at the back of the field. The opening quarter mile sees Emery leading three quarters of a length to Ways and Means. They move into the far turn together another two lengths back my main squeeze hard ridden in third denim and pearls is fourth with four lengths to make up it's another four back to bell's blue bell ways and means and emery stride for stride ways and means puts her neck in front past the quarter pole my main squeeze trying to come after them in third they have three sixteenths of a mile to go ways and means puts away emery and opens up two. my main squeeze running a good race on the outside and denim and pearls in fourth coming to the 16th pole and ways and means is now a grade one winner Handwritten by Flavian Pratt to win the test presented by Ticketmaster. Emery was second. It was a photo for third between my main squeeze and Denim and Pearls. 122 and 1 for Ways and Means. They're in the gate, and they're off, and Ferocious was a bit tardy out of there. He's starting to rush up now, but it's El Prestigio, who's the fastest. On the inside, Ferocious darts right into second. Lock Curran is close up in the early stages, and Ripped is fourth and only three lengths off the lead. It's another two back to Contrabandist. Two and a half clear of Antietam, who races in between horses. Down at the rail, discreet dancer is some ten lengths off the lead. Just steadied pretty hard behind Antietam. And in front of that pair now is Math Tudor. Trying to pick it up from behind is Preter. 22 seconds flat for the opening quarter mile. El Prestigio has been there every step of the way. Trying to sneak clear and doing so. El Prestigio has a four-length lead suddenly as they reach the top of the stretch. Ferocious hugging the rail and trying to chase him down angles out now with good strides in second and these two will come to the eighth pole together and ferocious is gathering serious momentum as preter has surfaced from well out of it ferocious takes off through the stretch what an effort it was expected and he sure delivered ferocious jogs tight photo between Preter and El Prestigio behind them and Tatum was battling it out with contrabandists but the story here is the first time starter ferocious